What is going on? Braden Flynn here, one of the contributors at Film Supply Club, where we are trying to inspire you to shoot more, do more, have fun, teach you stuff along the way, and also just show you what we're up to. So I am on an adventure from Colorado, a drive from Colorado to California. Our kitchen had a flood rupture situation where we had to demo it. I have four kids. No kitchen, no restaurants open because we're in the middle of COVID-19. And so I had to drive them to Colorado, drop them with my in-laws. And then from there, now I'm driving back. Going to try to get some photos along the way, shoot some landscapes, shoot some abandoned properties. Going to be shooting mostly Kodak Portra 400 with a Pentax 6.7. And don't know what I'm going to get. So let's go and go on an adventure. Come along. Normally I like to shoot pretty, like, what would you call it, perpendicular, straight on at something versus to the side, but those trucks are in the way so I shot it as is and then I asked the construction workers nicely, which they were like, shoot what? Um, figured with my beard I'd look a little bit more construction worker, but got a straight on shot, a little closer than I would have liked, but let's see. F16 is where I've been shooting those other shots. This one's in the shade, so we'll see. and shoot it with the 110. Yeah, 105? Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and shoot it with the 105 lens. This was the 55, which is really wide, and I, I'm getting the edge of that tree in there, so I think with the 105, it's gonna look really good as well. Sun peaked out on that one. I think it's gonna be good. shaved I tried trimming it up when I got home after drinking coffee and having to like literally mop up my mustache tried to trim it up failed but that road trip was really really interesting in the sense of like I don't know if there's ever gonna be a time where there's so few cars on the road I was driving a budget rental car that had a governor at 75 I was getting passed by big rigs which was just infuriating but the the last shot of that series was really special because I was 
literally in the middle of the 15 freeway with middle of the freeway. That's the first thing. And then the second, I was able to wait long enough I would have a car pass to not have one car down this whole long winding road. And I don't know, that photo to me just like really stood out as like the essence of what this trip was. But I hope you liked that. I hope that it was like just something creatively inspiring for you where you can think outside of the box of where you normally are. How can you just still be creative and keep shooting during this time? But thanks so much for watching. I'd love for you to leave any comments on what you're working on, how we can challenge you, how we can support you. But we are here for you. And thanks tons. We'll see you on the next one.